Transformer Protection Relay Stability Test. What is the meaning for Relay Stability Test? Actually, the relay is manufactured by the relay manufacturer and purchased by the panel manufacturer and mounted in the panel and sent to the switchyard. The switchyard people will erect it and connect the wires from yard to the relay. After that, charging the relay or after charging the transformer, the relay may mall operate. To confirm every connection is correct, this test is here to carry out. That is called a stability test. That is wiring between the relay and the panel and the switchyard, everything is in order. To confirm that one, we are calling as a stability test. Following tests are to be carried out in relay panel before charging the transformer. Number one, visual and mechanical inspection. Visual and mechanical inspection means any damage in the panel or any wire is terminal TB or damaged or hanging somewhere else or uh, uh, any broken materials are lying inside the panel. Like that we have to see that one. This is called visual and mechanical inspection. Suppose any glass is broken, that should be replaced like that. Number two, insulation resistance measurements. All terminals with the terminals are isolated from earth. We have to confirm these terminals are isolated from earth or not. How to test? Sort all terminal and Use, using in measuring, we have to see the insulation resistance between all terminal to earth. That is called insulation measurement test. Second the injection test. Second injection test means say, apply the current and voltage to the relay and confirm that one whether the relay is behaving correctly. Or Verification of relay settings. Relay manufacturer, they adopt some settings in the relay and sent to the panel manufacturer. The panel manufacturer simply assembled the relay and sent to the uh, switchyard. So the relay, now at present, the relay setting is set by the manufacturer of the relay only, not by the yard people. The, we have to adopt the settings which is recommended by the consultant so that the relay should not mal operate during the normal service conditions. So we had to verify the relay settings and adapted in the relay. First, functional testing on wire connections, current and voltage transformer and all axillary devices. That is, all the wires are connected to the yard and other places. Current CT wire, PT wire are connected to the panel. These things we had to verify. Actually, by verifying, by applying the voltage and the current and the terminals. All axillary devices means once this relay is operated, it will give the command to the tripping relay and other player things we have to confirm it. That is called all other axillary devices. Control verification. This command will go to some other relay and whether that command is going to other places like that. That is called control verification. Transformer protection stability test during transformer sharp circuit test. Transformer protection stability test is already explained in the first slide itself. Now, this test is to be carried out during along with the transformer short circuit test. Now, we will see one by one about the short circuit test. You see, numerical difference relay is connected for a transformer. The transformer data are 50 MA, 230 KV or 115 KV OID11. This transformer, a capital A1, A2, capital B1, B2, capital C1, C2 or H side. Small letter A2 and A1, small letter B2 and B1, C2 and C1 or LV side. H side is star. LV side is delta, that is 230 kV is in H side and 115 kV in the LV side. 
This transformer protection is connected with the CT. That is, H side CT is coming, CT wires are connected to the relay, LV side CT wires are connected to the relay. H side CT, premium CT, that is, star is made towards the line side. Same way, in the LV side CT, star is made in the line side. Other sides are connected to the relay. Assume here, H to LV, the power is flow. That is, H side CT, P1 to P2, power is going, that current is going. Inside the CT, S2 to S1 goes. So, relay side, all the neutral current is going into the relay and coming out R phase, Y phase, B phase of the secondary winding. In the LV side, P1 to P2, current is flowing. Inside the CT, S2 to S1, the currents are coming into the relay in R phase, Y phase, B phase terminal and going out via neutral. So, one side current and other currents are reversed, are inversed, 180 degrees shifted. In the numeric lay, all currents are converted to PU with respect to its flowed current and used to for operation and restraining. Zero sequence filtering. See here star side is, HV side is a star. So zero sequencing filtering is needed. So zero sequence filtering is done by adding all the currents divided by 3. That is IR plus IY plus IV divided by 3 is subtracted in R phase, Y phase, B phase current and used. In numerical differential relay, input currents are zero sequence filtered, amplitude matched, vector shifted, and then it is given to measuring circuit or measuring loop. In measuring new circuit or measuring loop, bias current and differential current are derived and compared for tripping operation or not tripping operations. Derived differential current and bias current are in terms of PU with respect to HV, LV full load currents only. HV side PU, LV side PU are compared. Transformer data 50 MVA, 230 KV bar 115 KV, YD11 12%. These are explained earlier. This 12% is explained in our earlier video. Now MVA, HV side is 50 MVA, LV side is 50 MVA. KV, two, HV side 230 KV, LV side is 115 KV. Full load current, HV side is 125.5 Ampere, LV side is 251 Ampere. That is 50 MV divided by root 3 into 230 KV. That is full load current. 20% of full load current is equal to 25.15 Ampere in HV side, 50.2 Ampere in the LV side. CT ratio. HU side and LV side both are same 250 bar 1, 250 bar 1. Full load current secondary HU side is 0 0.501 ampere, LV side 1 ampere. If the transform is fully loaded, that full load secondary current is 0 0.501 ampere in HU side, 1 ampere in the LV side. 20% of full load current is HU side 0 0.10. 2 ampere, LV side 0.2 ampere, that is 0.2 PU in HG side, LV side 0.2 PU, that is uh, the current divided by full load current is 20%, that is called 0.2 PU, in LV side also 0.2 PU, HG side also 0.2 PU. Short circuit test. Short circuit test is one of the important tests at the time of transformer commissioning or before charging transformer. If it is loading transformer, short LV voltage terminals and increase the HG voltage slowly to the required value. If it is generated transformer, short output of trans generated transformer and slowly increase the excitation voltage to the required value that is generated short circuit test. 
During this test, monitor the transformer input current and differential current in the relay and confirm CT conditions are in order. This test is called transformer protection stability test. After this test, if you charge a healthy transformer, relay will be stable. The following mistake in HVE LV side of the transformer may be happened at the side. In the site, some mistake will be done, happened due to some irregular or something else. Number one, CT ratio. Suppose the CT ratio is 250 bar 1, they may connect it as a 125 bar 1 or 500 bar 1. This is called a CT ratio mistake. Polarity reverse, P1, P2, S1, S2, this reversed. This is called a polarity reversed. CT interposing, instead of ROIB, uh, YB are they give. Wrong sequence, instead of ROIB, RBY, this is called wrong sequence. This mistake will be happen at the site. These things will be confirmed during this test. Now, we are going to see various mistakes made inside and a differential cousin method in the relay. In the short circuit test for loading transformer, vary the input voltage in HG side till we get 20% of full load current. In case of generated transformer, we vary excitation voltage, voltage till we get 20% of full load current. That is, HG side and LV side, 20% of full load current is flowing. That is, 0.2 PU current is flowing in the relay terminals for HC side and the LB side. One side is one side CT is reversed, either in the HC side or LB side. Any one of the CT is reversed for all three phases in RYB. If suppose one side CT is reversed, HC current is 0.2 PU, LV side is 0.2 PU. The differential current is measured in the relay is 2 into 0.2 PU in R phase, Y phase, B phase. That is 0.4 PU measured in the relay in R phase, Y phase, B phase. One side CT interposed, that is in HG side or HG, uh, LV side, one of the phase is rotated, that is in YB or instead of ROIB. Suppose this current, HG current is 0.2 PU, LV current is 0.2 PU is passing in the relay. This is one side CT is in, uh, interposed, differential current measured in the relay is root 3 into 0.2 PU in R phase, Y phase, B phase. That is uh, one. 1.732 into 0.2 PU in R phase, Y phase, Y phase, B phase. Three. In one side CT, two phases are interposed. That is, one side CT wrong sequence. That is, reverse sequence. That is, RBY instead of RYB connected. If HG current and LV current 0.2 PU is passing into the relay, then differential current measured in the relay is R phase is equal to 0 PU, Y phase is equal to root 3 into 0.2 PU, B phase is equal to root 3 into 0.2 PU. That is, Y phase, B phase are interposed in that condition. Say, these two phases differential current will be appeared in the relay. Number four, one side CT reversed and interposed. If HV current, LV current 0.2 PU is passing into the relay, then differential current measured is 0.2 PU in R phase, Y phase, B phase. That is input current, HV current, LV current and differential current are 0.2 PU. One side CT reversed and interposed, this condition will appear. Five, one side CT reversed under wrong sequence. That is, one side CT reversed under RBY instead of RYB. 
if h current point to pu and lv current point to e is passing into the relay then measured differential current measured in the relay is r phase e equal to 2 into point to pu that is point 4 pu y phase equal to point 2 pu b phase equal to point 2 pu that is one side current is reversed and wrong sequence this differential current appeared in the relay is measured in the relay is r phase equal to point 4 pu y phase equal to point 2 pu b phase equal to point 2 pu note to understand this subject we consider point 2 pu as a h current and lv current at site it is less only conclusion number 1 Differential current if differential current equal to 2 into point to PU in RYB for H and LV current equal to point to PU, then one side CT is reversed. Number two, if differential current equal to root 3 into point to PU in RYB for H and LV current equal to point to PU, then one side CT is interposed, that is YB or instead of RYB. Number three, if differential current equal to R phase equal to 0 PU and Y phase equal to root 3 into 0 0.2 PU, B phase equal to root 3 into 0 0.2 PU for H E L V current equal to 0 0.2 PU, then in one side CT, two phases are interposed. That is, one side CT is wrong sequence. Or a one side CT is reverse sequence. That is, RBY instead of ROIB. Number four, if differential current equal to 0 0.2 PU in ROIB for H current, H LV current is equal to 0 0.2 PU, then one side CT is reversed and interposed. If differential current R phase equal to 2 into 0 0.2 PU, Y phase equal to 0 0.2 PU, B phase equal to 0 0.2 PU, for H current, LV current equal to 0 0.2 PU, then one side CT is reversed under wrong sequence. That is, one side CT reversed under RBY instead of RYB. In this video, we explained about transform protection relay stability test and the importance of test. If we do not carry out this test and charge the healthy transformer, the differential relay may operate due to wrong CT connections. In that case, we have to download the waveform and analyze it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need any clarification, you can send mail to us. Our email ID is anbu.com. Electric.y at gmail.com.